So let us try to solve this problem on electric field. We have two point charges Q1 and Q2. Q1 and Q2 as shown in the figure. 10 to the minus 6 <coughs> coulomb, that is 1 micro coulomb and minus 1 micro coulomb, placed 0.1 meter apart. We have to find out the field at A, B and C as shown in the figure. So, so, so let us come to, come to the point A, come to the point A and, and due to, this is the positive charge, right? This is, this is <coughs> 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. This is minus 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. Okay, and, and this, due to this, the, the field is like that. And due to the other one, the negative one, the field is like this. And they are supposed to be added. So, so the positive one radiates outward, so that is the green one, right? The negative one radiates inward, so due to that also the field is in the same direction. And these are two vectors in the same direction, so what happens? They add up straight away, the magnitude add up, adds up, right? So at A, so I am calculating at A, at A, what happens? The field due to Q1, the field due to Q1 is equal to 1 by 4 epsilon naught, which is 9 into 10 to the power 9. So, so I know that the field is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon R square. Okay, I am I'm right now bothered about the scalar quantity, right? So, the field due to Q1 is this into Q. Q is 10 to the power minus 6 upon r is 0 0.05 whole square okay so so this is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 6 upon 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 so it becomes 13 here right and this becomes 10 to the power 7 so 9 upon 25 into 10 to the power 7 now that, that is nothing but 9 into 100 into 10 to the power 5 divided by 25. I generated this 100 so that this will cancel. It becomes 36 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per Coulomb. Right? Now the field due to Q1, the distances are the same, only the direction changes. So the, the field due to Q2 is also 36 into 10 to the power minus 5. Therefore, field at A will be the sum of them. No? This 10 to the power minus 8. Okay. This 10 to the power minus 8. 10 to the power minus 8. Sorry for, for that. So, th if this is 10 to the power minus 8, then this becomes 10 to the power. 13 minus 8, 10 to the power 5, right? And this becomes 10 to the power 3, this becomes 10 to the power 3. Fine? So 36 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per Coulomb. Sorry. I had written 10 to the power minus 5, that's wrong. Field at A is 36 twice of this, right? Into 10 to the power 3. So that actually becomes 72 into 10 to the power 3, which is nothing but 7.2 into 10 to the power 4 Newton per Coulomb. Correct. How about B? At B, <coughs> the field due to Q1 is radiates outwards. So it radiates outwards and it is something like this, right? And, and, and the value is the same, correct? So at B, at B, field due to Q1, due to Q1 is is 36 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per Coulomb field due to Q2 field due to Q2 is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 8 so here it is it is 10 to the power minus 8 and 10 to the power minus 8 10 to the power minus 8 upon R square, so that is 0.15 square, 0.15 square, 
correct <coughs> now this points in the opposite direction correct so 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 the, so the the and it is it is a lesser value it has to be lesser due to the increased distance so it becomes 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 8 upon 3 into 5 square into 10 to the power minus 4 right no I can write it as 3 into 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 whole squared now that gives me 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 10 to the power minus 8 divided by 9 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 4 now that gives me 9 9 cancels 13 minus 8 is 5 I take out 100 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 25 so that is 4 into 10 to the power 3 correct now from this 36 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 I'll, I'll subtract this correct because their directions are opposite so so feel that B total is this minus 4 into 10 to the power 3 32 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per coulomb. Correct. Now we come to C. The field at C due to this is radiating like this and due to Q2 it is inward, right? Radially inward. Again both the magnitudes will be the same. Correct. Magnitudes will be the same because the charges are the same, the magnitudes of the charges are the same, the distances are the same and the distance between this is how much? 120. Why? Because this is an equilateral triangle, this is 60 degree. Hmm? Yeah, the angle. The angle between them is 120 degree and they are equal and, and we know that the resultant it will be bisecting it. So it will be making 60 degree angle with this. So somehow our, our resultant will be directed like this and it will be equal in magnitude to either of them. Why? Because whenever you have two equal vectors at 120 degree that we had done, you get, you get the resultant as the same. So, so don't do that. Uh, uh, the question is correct. How do we write all this in words? So you just apply the formula. Okay, you apply the formula. So, so at C. Okay, so a, so E one maybe you call this E one and you call this E two. E one is equal to E two. Okay, since charges since source charges and the distance of the point and the distance of the point from the two charges from q1 and q2 is the same correct You can write E1 is equal to E2 is equal to E. Say, okay. Now what happens? What is E? E is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into Q1. That is 10 to the power minus 8 upon R square. So 0 0.1 square. So this 10 to the power minus 2 goes here, makes it 11, makes it 3. So it becomes 9 into 10 to the power 3. Correct? Newton per coulomb. Now the resultant R resultant field R, yes? In magnitude. 
I, I have not put a vector. In magnitude, they are equal. No. Mm -hmm. Same charges, same. Difference. Same, same Q, same R. No, that's why I've written. Resultant field R is equal to e square plus e square plus two e into e into cos one twenty root over. You should be writing the defining formula as well in your examination setup. 2e square minus half, so that becomes 2e square minus e square, so that is equal to e square, which is equal to e. So this field is that, and tan phi is a, a e sine 1 sine 120 divided by sine 120 divided by e plus e cos 120 correct so that is e into root 3 upon 2 divided by e minus e by 2 that is e into root 3 by 2 divided by e by 2 which is root 3 so phi is equal to 60 degrees so it makes an angle of 60 degree with this so actually what happens this is 60 this is 60 so this becomes parallel and points to the right. Correct. Points to the right. We could have taken that rigorous vector root also, and I'll 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 appreciate if you do that. That rigorous vector root is the better one. Is the better proposition always. Hmm? So we can do the same question by that. Will you be able to do it? IJK in the in the form of IJK 